Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Feed the Beast video response. <laughs> Kinda. Uh, it's just a couple ideas for Top Mass. Uh, he was talking about his enchanting room and the fact that, like, the crystals are annoying the hell out of him. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the enchanting room I came up with. Um, well, I mean, it's just, it's a mock up. It's just to give him ideas of what he can do. Um, so, Say you want to do some enchanting, uh, but you have no levels. Well, you know, I have 29, but <laughs> say you don't have any levels, and you want to do some enchanting. You walk in, and you get your levels. Yeah. <laughs> so you get your levels, you, you do some enchanting, and you leave. And then, if you're somewhere in the area, uh, you don't have to worry about hearing the crystals. Uh, say you want to go AFK for a while and build up some experience in your your tank. Just stand half on, half off. Right in the middle. Uh, this is the XP drain from open blocks. And there's uh, tanks from open blocks below. And yeah, this is cool. <laughs> uh, one of the cool things about the tanks from open blocks is... Uh, no, let's go back to survival. <laughs> um, if you don't have any levels, or well, even if, you know, you're at level 29 and you want a quick level 30, you can just right-click on the tank that has experience in it, and look at my level. Level 30. Done. Good to go. Yeah. These things are awesome. Um, so what we have in the corner is we have a drawbridge from Tinker's Construct. Uh, it has three crystals in it. This one shoots out this way. This one goes that way, and that one goes that way. So it fills all three walls with the purple XP crystals. And then, like I say, if you want to just build up experience, you can see it's going up. Uh, it'll continue to go up even after, like, it looks like you're not getting any experience. It's because this thing's pulling the experience out faster than you're getting experience. But if you look, you can see it's actually going up. And so you're you're building up experience for, you know, later on when you want to do some quick enchanting and you don't want to sit and wait for the levels. Uh, so yeah, it's all wired from underneath. So this is where the pressure plate is. It just comes over using red alloy wire because it can, you know, go up walls and on the bottom of stuff. And it just cuts across. Oh, oh I guess I should get into creative. <laughs> yeah, and it just goes under. Uh, you can cover it in the same block with the micro blocks. So if you want to hide it differently or, you know, like I said, this is just to give ideas of what you can do. Well, give him ideas of what he can do. So if he wants something like this, you know, he can have it. Uh, the same idea for the other crystals. Uh, this looks just like wall. I tried to, you know, just matches wall as close as possible. Uh, but you can see there's actually a shrouded pressure plate right there. And if we hop up here, all the crystals pop out, you get your buffs, you walk away. And even if you're over here, you know, crafting and doing all that, you don't hear it. And then when your buffs start to run out, you just, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of buggy, so, you know. You gotta kind of make sure you jump in the center. Yeah, you could even, put, like, put the pressure plate, uh, like, right here. And then, like, fill the wall with crystals. Uh, the only problem is you gotta make a drawbridge for each one. But that's not really a problem. I mean, if you're getting into Tinker's Construct, you're gonna have all that stuff anyway. So, it's not really a big deal. Um, and then he was looking at the sprinkler. And one of the things about the sprinkler... Especially if you make a uh, aqueous accumulator, uh, the aqueous accumulator will actually feed the sprinkler, and it will keep up, as you can see. Uh, it looks like it won't because this just ticks from zero to one, but it it really like it does keep up, and the sprinkler acts as a water source. So, yeah, it'll hydrate the water, it'll increase the tick rate, and as you can see, it makes stuff grow. 
And then you can actually put bone meal inside the sprinkler, and it'll work even better. So, yeah, that's just something something to keep in mind. Uh, he was looking at the sprinkler and I think wanting to use it somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, if you make an aqueous accumulator, you never have to worry about, like, refilling the water tank. If you would put, like, a water tank here. And, yeah, it'll just continue running for forever. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Um, hopefully, Top Mass finds some, some kind of inspiration from all of this. And hopefully he learns something new. And hopefully I helped. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.